All right, today's daily rehab is about strengthening your neck if you have neck pain. Now, a lot of people who are sitting at computers or driving cars or simply just looking down a lot get a sore neck from having their head either forward or forward and down. Now, that puts a lot of strain on your neck. Now, when you've had pain for a long period of time, it can get really weak. And most people go and stretch it out and do all sorts of things and get some massage and it feels better. But at the end of the day, you really need to work on strengthening the back of your neck, the side of your neck, and the front of your neck to get that fully better. Now, the problem is a lot of people don't know what to do or find it too hard. So I've got a little guideline of four exercises for you to do at home or in the gym to help you get this slowly better and slowly stronger. So the first thing we're gonna work on is just starting off trying to get some isometric strength in the back of the neck and get your posture a little bit better. So I would do this one at home. First thing you do on the floor or on your bed, on the ground, in this position here where your head is on your hands like this. Now, what you're gonna try and do is set up the rest of your body in a static, really good position, and then lift your head off. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna talk this way, but you can hear me. So from this position here, you're going to then just tilt your lower back a little bit so you're into neutral. If you're in this position where you're in extension, your belly's hitting the floor, just do a little tilt back, turn on your core a bit, squeeze your butt a bit, and that stabilizes you here. The next thing you wanna try and practice is sending your shoulder blades down, okay? So you think about your shoulder blades coming down to your buttocks, if you like, and that switches on some of your lower trap, your scapula stabilizers. So you're pulling your shoulders down, and then with your hands, you're pushing into the ground, all right? So that turns on some serratus, which stabilizes your shoulder blades even more. So you're thinking, tilt here, glutes on, shoulder blades down and push in. Now from that point, I'm going to then just think about looking ahead, making a long of the back of the neck, and just pulling my chin away and holding it there. Now as I hold there, I can focus on my core, my glutes, pulling my shoulders down, pushing my hands down, and think about really long at the back of the neck, pulled in, and you should be able to feel that a little bit of muscle work through the back of the neck. Now this is going to be 30 seconds long. When you get better, it goes up to a minute, okay? And I'd be doing maybe three sets of that. So trying to get a really long, slow minute. Make sure, don't do this. Don't look up, okay? We don't want extension of the neck. I want you to be in a neutral spine, long through here, and you'll find that all those muscles are on. Because when you need a good posture or sit in a computer and you sit, instead of being there and forward, you don't want to be there, right? So you don't train it in extension, you train it in neutral. So you're using your extensors in your neck, but in a neutral spine position, okay? You're also training your front flexors as well. So the two are co-contracting. Now that's a really good exercise to start with. Calms the neck down a little bit, sets you up for the next thing. Now, what I want you to try and do next is working on some loading work for extension. So this is where, at home, you can either use like a foam pad, something like this, that gets a real squishy pad. If you haven't got one of those, you could use maybe a little kid's ball, like a beach ball, which is squishy. If you haven't got one of those, use a towel. I'm gonna to show you with a foam pad. So you'd end up against the wall. Now, when you stand against the wall, I would be a little bit away from the wall at your feet, okay? But your pelvis or your bum's resting on the wall, your shoulder's resting on the wall. Now you can see how there's a gap here, right? Because normal posture, you're not back here, okay? There's a gap, and that's so your ear is over your shoulder, over your foot. Now, what I would do with this, if you imagine it's gonna be the thickness of between my head and the wall, okay? So the towel can't be too far forward and stick you forward. It's gotta be the right distance, so about that is right. Now, what I'm gonna try and do is push back against the foam pad, but first thing, I've gotta set myself up. So you push through your heels a bit, tighten your legs, switch your core on here and pull your shoulder blades down so you're really pushing and then you gently push back in here. So you've got to have all this switched on in your lower body, okay, to sort of brace yourself against the floor and then I'm directly pushing my head into that foam pad. Now I can't push it too far and I don't want to go too hard but I can feel those muscles working and I can feel I'm working a little bit here. Remember, all this stuff is just isometric work, meaning static the joints are not moving, the muscles are switched on, but the joints don't move, so it's an isometric contraction, all right? And they're long, because you wanna build up some endurance in the back of the neck. Now, if you find you just 
cannot put any power through there, maybe you're not strong enough down here. That's when, yes, you can stand back a little bit and move your feet forward and then push back. You might have a little bit of leverage through your feet. So you can push through your feet and then push back into here. But the upright as much as you can is better. Okay, so that more upright you are to try and train yourself in a good natural posture and switch on your strengthening work and pushing back there, you're really gonna find this is really helpful. Now this one also acts as a bit of a pain reliever if you've got a headache. So if you get to feel like you've got a headache or tension headache coming on, try this one to try and alleviate it because it'll switch on all your muscles here, get some blood flow and some oxygen up through those muscles, which may knock out some of the pain. So this is a really good one to do for those sort of things. It gives you a really good idea whether your headache is tension related or not. Is it coming from a weak muscle system? And if you do this and it turns it off, as it gets the headache better, you know what the problem is, okay? So really working on that. Building from 30 seconds to one minute. Remember with these ones, don't push back, don't drop down, just neutral. It's like the same movement where you do retractions, okay? So some mobility work like that. It's the same movement, but it's static. It's just pushing in and not moving, okay? You'll move a little bit because you push into the pad, but once you hold it there, then it's static, okay? That's a really, really helpful one. So if you imagine you're doing it with a ball, you'd probably have to be a little bit further away like this and push in that way, okay? You could also do it with a big Swiss ball in the gym. But when you're at home, if you haven't got any of that equipment, just use a towel. Okay, like this, or a pillow. So if you have a soft pillow or a towel, and again, same sort of thing, push in there. Of course, this is not as squishy as one of those things, so you're better off having something squishy, but if you haven't got anything, that's the go, okay? Now, what I'd work on next is some side flexion. Now this is gonna turn a few eyes in the gym if you do this one in the gym, so you might wanna do this one at home to start off with, but grab a band like this. Now, we traditionally use sort of power bands or use there are bands that are tubes, but for this one, you actually need a wide band like that. And I don't mean a thick one, I mean a flimsy thin one, okay? So it's a TheraBand, traditional TheraBand. Maybe start off with the red, because that's a pretty medium sort of uh, resistance. Put it around something that is not gonna move, okay? And this needs to be situated at head height when you're kneeling. So when you're kneeling down, if you imagine where my head height is, that's where that anchor's got to be. So this one here has to come up. I look where my head height is, and it's about there. Now what you're doing with this one is strengthening up the muscles on your side of your neck. Now this is almost what we call an anti-movement exercise. It's still static, isometric, but we're trying to resist the movement going one way. So this band is going to try and pull my head to the left. I'm going to try and resist that on my right side. So I'm shrinking up the right side when the band's pulling from the left. All right, sort of like what they call anti-rotation. This is anti-side flexion, if you like. This one, you're gonna to have to make the band nice and flat like that. Pull it around the top part of your head like that. Pretty simple stuff. Now, you'll notice that it's trying to pull my head this way. So what I've gotta do first up is get myself in a nice steady position where I'm straight through my spine straight through my shoulders. Now, if there's a mirror in front of you, that's really handy. And then I've got to make sure my head is absolutely straight up in there and I'm not poked forward, I'm not pulled back, I'm just in neutral, okay, ear over shoulder. Now, from that position, I'm just resisting here. So I've got to try and straighten myself up. Now, if you can't straighten yourself up, maybe the band's too tight. You might want to kneel in a bit. And so there's just a little bit of resistance there. Now this may seem really silly, right? But this is awesome isometric strength for here. Trust me, this stuff works. You've just got to make sure you do it for long enough. So again, 30 seconds to a minute, strengthening on one side. You won't feel too much going on. You shouldn't feel too much difficulty either. That's why these things are boring, right? You don't sort of feel what you're doing anything. It's the after effect that is the key, okay? So trust me, do this sort of work, three sets each side daily, then see how that affects your neck pain and your posture over the long term, all right? Now the last one I want you to work on is actually some strengthening isometric for your flexors here. Now all you need for that is a little ball like this. Now this is a trigger point ball, so this is a hard ball, okay? Now you could use one of these, you could use a tennis ball, anything that you can sort of hold between your chin and your collarbones. So what you do, is down on your mat again, and you're gonna come up into cervical flexion. So this way you're gonna come up into this position and hold it, but you have this in between your chin 
and the top and your collarbones here. So I would place it here and you hold it with one finger and what you do is you just simply come up and hold it with your chin. So you come up and hold it like that. Okay, now you'll, I already feel this working hard. There's a little bit of a shake going on because it's difficult, it's not painful, but what this does is isometrically strengthens up my muscles in the front of my neck, okay? I don't want to be doing wrenching forward like this, okay? This is a static movement. So just very slowly up into there. You don't have to go too far, just holding it there. Again, maybe with this one, it's because it's difficult, you start with 10 seconds, you have a rest, five seconds or so, and go again. So you might do more like 10 repetitions of 10 seconds. And as you get better, you can build to 30 seconds, you can go to a minute, okay? This is a lot harder, I would leave this to the last one that you do, but again, it's really effective because most people, they work on the strengthening of the back leg, they forget about the front. That's like working on your back extensors and forgetting about the front abdominals, okay? So you've got to work on both and make sure the two are working together for your posture long term. So there's four for you for your neck pain. See how you go with that. Good luck, see you next time.